Good afternoon and welcome to the East Texan Sports Report. I'm your host Tyler McDonough, joined by my co-host Drew Ivory. We've got a lot of sports to dive into, so uh, Drew gives us a sit wrap on football. Football going on this weekend, back in action at Memorial Stadium at 6 p.m. against Lock Haven. It will be Hall of Fame Day and letter winners this weekend, so make sure you come on out if you can make it. Hopefully we will avoid the rain, and if you cannot make it, you can listen on 889 KETR, the Lions Sports Network. Vincent Hobbs is questionable with an ankle injury as well as E.J. Thompson with a head injury. Look for quarterbacks Preston Wheeler and Kane Wilson to alternate once again this weekend and look for O.V. Urev Boo to split some carries in the backfield with Carandel Hale. Yeah, the, you know, the Lions fell to number nine after this past weekend, but... Uh, yes, they fell to number nine after the loss to Colorado State Pueblo, who is now ranked number 16 after beating us last week. It'll be a you know, good game this weekend as a, as a prelude for Midwestern here in a, in a couple weeks. So, no test yeah, next they'll be traveling up to uh, Wichita Falls. That'll be a oh. tough one as Midwestern's ranked fifth in the nation, but... Uh, this past weekend, the Lions soccer had a uh, two-game series as they played on Friday. Uh, they traveled to Portales, New Mexico to take on the Eastern New Mexico Greyhounds. The Lions did fall 2-0 to, to Eastern New Mexico, but uh, two days later, they uh, did have an opportunity to redeem themselves uh, in Canyon as they played uh, the number 25 ranked West Texas a and Buffaloes. Fortunately, the Lions fell 3-0, to zero, but um, things did look good as uh, Kara Blasson game and Sabrina Mungia both had a combined three shots on goal. So Lions are uh, getting some shots on goals. They're just not falling yet. Uh, and uh, the Lions look to, you know, Caitlin Duty's played real well this year, gotten a lot of saves, but uh, the goals will come. They just haven't been there yet. And um, the Lions will be next in action this Friday at the Kane Sports Complex as they will take on UT Permian Basin. Volleyball team back in action coming up this weekend. They're 12 and four and now ranked number 21 in the AVCA coaches poll. They are just two spots behind Tarleton State now and they have moved up four from the last week's rankings. Uh, they're on a five game win streak now, still undefeated at home this season. Next opponent will be UT Permian Basin at 5 p.m. in the Fieldhouse. Look for the Wacker sisters to be the stars of the team this weekend. That'll be a good matchup. You know, they've been playing well this year. but No doubt. Uh, the cross country teams this past weekend were at the University of Arkansas, where they ran in the Chili Pepper Festival. Big, big time cross country meet. It's it's one of the biggest in the nation. A lot of D1 schools there, a lot of D2 schools there. Um, but the women ran a 5K, and uh, Brandy Stadler once again led the Lions as she ran 19:01. Uh, she nearly cut a full minute off from the the, the first me, uh, the first meet of the season. So really good job from Brandy Stadler, running well for the Lions. Um, in the men's 8K, Sergio Marcello once again led the Lions as he ran a 26:34, and that was also about a full minute better for the Lions. So uh, the Lions cross country team, you know, making good strides, especially there at the top. You know, their top runners are cutting some time off, so it's looking good for them. Uh, the cross country team next will be in action here in Commerce as they will host the East Texas Shootout. That was supposed to be earlier in September, but now the, the meet will be um, October the 12th. So get on out there if you can, check out the cross country team. Got some intramural sports coming up now. Here pretty soon the cricket tournament registration will be coming to a close October 3rd at midnight. The season, or the tournament rather, will begin October 6th and 7th will be the dates for that tournament. Outdoor soccer registration will be coming up the following week, October 10th at midnight. The registration will end and the season will begin October 15th. Yeah, and to close things up, the men and women's golf team, excuse me, just the men's golf team will be in action this next week as the men will travel to Albuquer Albuquerque, New Mexico to comp compete in the Western New Mexico Invitational. Um, if you want to, you can check all things out on live, you can check live scoring out on GolfStat. There's an app. You can go to GolfStat.com. The women will not be in action this next week. They'll get a week off. But the week after, they will travel to Dallas, and they'll be, uh, you know, they'll be closing up their fall season here soon. So both teams, check them out. You can check out all things at TMUCEastTexan.com and follow us on social media.